Is it better to be a business owner or a hustler on 47th Street? Well, it all depends on your goals. Most people that start off as 47th Street hustlers or hustlers in general end up turning into business owners. I never had to go to 47th Street to be a business owner. I was hustling in flea markets by the time I was 13 and 14. So I kind of naturally took the role of a business owner. I understand profits and losses. I think at that point, you're more of a hustler than a business owner or an entrepreneur, or whatever, you, whatever word you want to call it. You're more of a hustler at that point. I was hustling. I was doing any odd job I could find. I was flipping iPhones and freaking Samsung phones or phone cases. Then I started selling clothes. So that taught me the hustle. The hustle ends up teaching you how to be a business owner because it teaches you how to manage people. At one point when I was 16 and 17 years old, I had kids working for me. I was a senior or a junior in high school and I had freshmen and sophomores working for me and same kids, kids that are my age as well. With that being said, the flea market in my case taught me skills. 47th Street hardened those skills. I learned more business owning skills in that sense. It teaches you how to network with people. It teaches you how to become a people person even if you're not. It teaches you, if in your case, how to hustle. It teaches you basic bookkeeping. It teaches you great life skills. You're walking down the street. It teaches you street smarts if you wanna call it. it. Teaches you about the world in general. You got people quite literally trying to snake you over $100 every half hour of the day. So when you're in that environment, when you're in a very stressful environment, when you get back to the real world, your regular life, nothing really stresses you out, especially if you're mixing the business or, or you're hustling with some sort of exercise like lifting or jujitsu or boxing or something. When you're in like real life, you're kind of very calm and chill. I think that that environment in general is good to be in for a little while. I don't think it's good to stay in that environment. I think you need to upgrade after a while just like I did. I started off on 47th Street and then I ended up opening a store here in Jersey and I do not plan to go back to 47th Street more than once every other week. So that brings us into the cons of 47th Street. It's sketchy, you have to watch your back. You can get robbed very easily, it happens weekly. People will try to take advantage of you. You are a small fish in a big pond or in this case an ocean. There's guys on that street that are worth hundreds of millions of dollars and you're, if you're just starting out, you're probably worth maybe five to 10. Um, they have a lot more money and resources than you. You just have to watch your back. You have a lot of competition on 47th Street. You're pretty much going to be hustling for 100 bucks, which is fine because you have to learn how to hustle and how to start somewhere. But for the most part, you're going to be starting out with five to 10 grand. You're going to be buying watches that are worth 7,000 and you're going to be praying that you make 100 or 200 bucks on the watch. If you don't, then you lose money. You write it off to the game. It's your tuition payment for learning business. Business lessons 101. Another con of 47th Street is you're in the middle of fucking Manhattan. Manhattan's a shit show and a shit hole. I mean, I used to love it before 2020. After 2020, it's quite literally the, the most disgusting place on earth. Now we can move into the pros and cons of owning a business. The pros, none besides money. That's if you're even profitable. The cons, stress, anxiety constantly, depression even if you were never depressed before in your life. Training new people is annoying. Training new people takes time. You will train somebody for five to six months, teach them a lot of the things that you know, and then they will leave you to go do it on their own, which is fine. That's part of the game. But in this business specifically, it happens because people will start making money. They'll save up like $20,000 and they will bounce because they could do it themselves or they think they could do it themselves. Doing deals in person was a little easier than doing them over the phone for me only because I am a people person and I'd rather be in somebody's face with an item than over the phone. Over the phone, people are more hesitant to buy because they don't see a face. A lot of people, older people uh, specifically, like to put a face to the name or a face to the deal that they're doing. And that's just a generational thing that's kind of phasing out, I've noticed. A lot of the younger guys will send me a wire in two seconds with no problems. The older guys will ask for a FaceTime, which is fine. I always suggest you do a FaceTime. But a lot of the older guys don't know what they're doing on a phone. I think it's more common for an older person to get scammed than a younger person, only because a younger person grew up with the internet and an older guy did not. There's another one. Owning a business, you have liability. On 47th Street, you have zero liability besides getting shot and killed for your inventory. But on 47th Street, you really have zero liability. If someone slips and falls in the place, it's not your problem. When you own a business, it's everything is your issue. Freaking my camera guy here, Pavit, could fall and hit his head and he'll sue me. An old lady could walk in here, slip and fall on her own two feet, crack her head open and die. Now it's my problem. Somebody could come in here shooting, freaking Jay, the sales guy, gets hit. Now it's my problem. Now Jay's on a t-shirt. <laughs> 
another con is you have time for nothing else if you're just starting out. I think it's, again, better to start off as a hustler somewhere in some field than just open up a business and hope for the best. I think the hustling will teach you the skills and then you open up the business or you open up the business while you're hustling, you turn the hustle into a business, you bring the business into a actual physical location. But like I was saying, you literally have no time for anything else. If you're just starting out, I mean, pretty much all your time is going into the business. It's like a new baby. You accidentally knock up a fucking seven at the bar and, and nine months later, you're waking up to a screaming kid and the girl won't leave your fucking house. <laughs> so in conclusion, I think it's good to start off as a hustler and then turn the hustle into a business over time, slowly at your own pace. Then to just wake up one day and decide, hey, I'm going to be a business owner.